Contractors of America. saws have become one of the most commonly used and versatile tools on the job site. But because we use them for so many different jobs, we sometimes forget to take the proper safety precautions. Wear the proper personal protective equipment. Hearing protection and eye protection are essential to protect yourself from excessive noise, flying sparks, and material. If you're using a face shield, you should still wear goggles underneath it. And when you're working with materials that can produce toxic dust, fumes, or vapors, use the correct respirator and appropriate filter. A hard hat, of course, is always in order. It's important to wear clothing that fits properly and isn't loose or torn, because if it is, it can get tangled in the blade. Wear gloves and safety footwear are always a good idea. And when cutting metal or other material that produces a lot of sparks, watch out for flammable debris and wear non-flammable clothing. And don't use these saws around open containers of flammable liquids or anywhere flammable vapors are present. Before using the saw, inspect the blade and guards for damage or improper wear. If you find any problems, replace it immediately. When you replace a blade, make sure the teeth are going in the right direction and use proper installation techniques in replacing wheels, support flanges, and blotters. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for choosing the RPM rating and make sure you use a wet blade for wet jobs and a dry blade for dry jobs. And it's a good idea to remove the blade when storing or transporting a cutoff saw to keep it in good condition. You'll want to refuel the saw when the motor is cold. Don't pour gas into a hot or running engine. Use only approved refueling cans. Don't overfill the tank. And if you spill any fuel, carefully wipe the saw dry and move away from the spill before starting the motor. Wipe your hands on a dry rag, not on your clothes. Check the saw's fuel tank and fuel lines for leaks. It's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher handy whenever you're refueling and never smoke near an open gas can. Now it's time to start it up. Before making a cut, move any debris away from your feet and be sure you have good solid footing. Plan the cut and position the guard so that it provides the maximum amount of protection. This takes just a moment, but it provides a lot of insurance against injury. Grip the starter cord at the handle. Never wrap it around your hand or wrist. Then, when starting the saw, hold the saw on the ground and stand clear of the blade. Never start a saw by dropping it or pushing it away from you or holding it anywhere near your body. This is an extremely dangerous procedure. Once the saw is running, lift it off the surface with the top handle and let the engine drop to an idle. Then, rev it up and check for uneven wobbling before making a cut. When making a cut, secure the object with a C-clamp or equivalent whenever possible. Be cautious as you ease into the cut. Don't drop the saw down. Be smooth and steady. Don't try to twist or to change direction, and don't force or push the blade. Both of these can cause the blade to break, and that's a danger to you as well as an unnecessary expense. Always keep two hands on the saw, your feet on the ground, and your body away from the blade. After a cut, wait until the blade comes to a complete stop before setting the saw down. This not only protects you, but keeps the blade in good shape as well. If you need to cut something up high, use a scaffold to reach it. You need a lot of control and ladders are not stable enough. Avoid using cutoff saws for overhead work. They're too heavy and hard to control in this position. It's a versatile tool, but it can't do everything. It's up to you to play it safe and apply safe operating practices. Okay, Larry.